Hello, welcome back. Uh, I was about to make a little blog post on my website and I figured I would show you how I do that, how I actually write blog posts and publish them all from the command line. So the, uh, to start off, let's just show you, I'll just show you my blog here. And this is my website. This is more like a public Zettelkasten where I just uh, publish the things that I'm learning. I write notes on what I do and then I publish them here. Sometimes I write a bit longer articles and sometimes I just uh, share something really short and small like this. Like You can ab abort operations on AKS clusters now. I found that useful and I wanted to save that and share that with uh, any potential others that are reading my website. So uh, check it out. This uh, You can check out the start here page and here I've written all about why I do this and and how so uh, the thing that I'm that I want to share uh, on my blog is something I've been meaning to do for months but I just <laughs> haven't really uh, gotten around to it but this this uh, weather uh, to check the weather from the terminal so and to do that you do you use a curl command and you curl w ttr.in and it shows you this very pretty uh, overview of the weather for today tomorrow and the day after that and there's all sorts of ways you can modulate this so if i believe it's slash amsterdam yeah and then it will show you the weather in amsterdam and let's check out what the weather in oslo is going to be like it's actually a light rain and shower there now and uh, it looks like it's going to be pretty decent weather there as well so that's that's nice uh, check it out on uh, whether there's a github yeah here's a github um, repo and you can actually modulate how to how, how small you want it what you want and it's a really neat application you can you can uh, embed things in your conky or things or other things that you have on your screen uh, you can format it like let's try this one uh, in format 3 let's try this and then you just get one line so yeah it's re really neat so I figured I would make a blog post on that so I'll start with um, just increasing my font size here so this is that little script that i wrote in a previous video and now it uh, has increased the font size and the what i what i use for my blog is uh, something called yugo uh yugo uh yeah what is it yugo static website generator here we go go yugo.io uh, it's a really neat way to produce websites because everything is done from local markdown files. So on, with Yugo, Yugo you, uh, make a th you choose a theme and then you feed markdown files into it and it will generate the website for you. So to show you what that looks like, I'll go to my uh, blog repo. Uh, this is actually a GitHub repo that contains uh, everything that I uh, that contains my entire website and Saddlecasten. So, yeah, it's uh, you can read about Yugo how it works, but basically you have a config file and you just uh, configure it like this. You have to add a theme, but then there is the content directory and as you see here this contains markdown files so here let's just uh, open up one here the cli shokunin moment well this is just a, a short z that i wrote a while ago and let's do the other one uh, this is the one that i published uh, this morning so this is what the, the the markdown file looks like it has a bit of front matter and a date and a few tags and if I go back to my website, you will see here that here is are the tags that I added there, and it has the date, and it has this uh, uh, 
title and this is how uh, how you write an article uh, for or how you write a post for Yugo. So it takes all of these po all these markdown files and renders it to a static website. And you can have tags. So I have a tag go here and it will sort everything uh, with everything every post that I've given the tag go, it will uh, show you the that particular tag that list of tags. So it's it's really handy. I really like Yugo. I tried a few different things, but this is a really neat way to do it. And in order to yeah, actually uh, do this, I wrote my own script to uh, to facilitate this because what Yugo does, it takes the markdown files and it converts it to a static HTML website. So uh, in the in the repo where I was, where I am. Here you have the the content directory, but there's also the static directory, and uh, no, pub the public directory. Excuse me. If I go to the public directory, here you will actually see the site map and the index HTML. So let's see what that looks like. So this is the actual uh, generated content that the website that, that Yugo generated. So that's just a quick overview of how that works. And uh, to actually uh, write a blog post, I have made myself a little script and it's called blog and I do blog Z and then I can enter a file name. So I'll do check weather terminal and then it opens up a, a new markdown file in NeoVim, of course, with a template that I created. So how I will, now I will just do the actual uh, writing. So I'll do how to check the weather from the command line. And I'll give that the tags command line um, productivity and uh, I'll throw in Linux, why not? So um, then I write uh, yeah, um, for the past few months, I've been using this neat API to check the weather from the terminal. It's very simple to use, simply enter uh, simply uh, and simply run curl the wtr.in. So this will will uh, show the weather based on your location. But you can also um, you can also give a particular location and format. So curl dot i in slash Amsterdam, just as an example, like that. So then I like to include uh, some links with my um, with my posts. So then I will just include the link for this GitHub repo like this, and save that. And that's that. So. Uh, this link section, it also has this unique identifier in it. That's because all of these uh, articles or all of these uh, Zs, they are integrated into my private Zettelkasten as well. So I, I, there's just a, a portion of my Zettelkasten that I publish. And uh, now that I have uh, written this, I can save it like that. And then what I can do is I run the blog reset command and I'll, I'll, I'll go through the script afterwards, but uh, the blog reset command basically deletes the old website that is locally stored. And then it serves up a, a copy at localhost. So this is just a development server. And if I then go here to localhost 1313, then we have the new blog post here. So how to check the weather from the command line for the past few months, I've been using this neat API check the weather from the terminal. It's very simple to use. 
Um, so some most often I'll just publish it straight away to the internet, but uh, sometimes I want to check it locally just to make sure uh, that everything went well. And uh, also just to show you, uh, I can uh, open it like this. And if I were to um, make a adjustment here, so here I use the word terminal, but let's change that to command line. And if I then write, you see that the word actually changed here in the local version of the website. So sometimes it's nice to check that first before you publish. So now that's done, uh, I've added the, 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 um, the new post. So just to make sure I'll go to my website here, you will see that this is the, the new, the, the latest article here. And now I will run my uh, custom command called blog pub. And I'll enter a commit message. So I'll just do a weather command line. So this script does a few things for me. It deletes the old website. It then um, regenerates the website with the new content. And then it copies that over to a different repository that I have hooked up to my web hosting. So I'll walk you through that uh, as well. But first, let's see what the result is. So I here I'm on my actual live website on the internet and I'll refresh this. And here we go how to check the weather from the command line. It's, uh, it's already live. So how this works is I, I have this uh, local repo and I can also show you that on github uh, as well um, this is my main github page and I'll just show you the blog repo here it's uh, it's all uh, openly available you can uh, look at the source code if you want and um, here you will see the commit message so I uh, one minute ago I just made that weather command line and it will show you that I actually added this uh, this markdown file here. And then I have a different repo that is uh, blog hosting. So it's a different one. And this contains the what we saw in the public folder, uh, the, the public directory uh, where, that I showed you a few minutes ago. So this is just the actual statically generated website. And this is hooked up uh, to my uh, hosting provider. So my hosting provider gives me a Plesk instance. And here I go to Git. And this is hooked up to this uh, tag block hosting repository that I have. And it every time I, I push to that repo, then a webhook is triggered and then it will pull the repo and it will um, publish the new content. So it's very easy, very, very com uh, convenient to, um, to publish content. And I do it all from the command line, as you see. I write my, even for longer articles, I do all my writing in, in, in NeoVim and it is just a very convenient, comfortable way of, of working for me. So um, I created this nice little workflow uh, for myself around it and it, it works very well for me. So I'll just quickly go over that blog script that I uh, uh, showed you. So I wrote this myself, it's just a bash script um, and it is, uh, it takes a few parameters. So here I have a function that will uh, read the file name and store it in a variable. And here is the open file, which will open the file in a certain directory. And here it is setting up the YAML front matter. It is a little bit caveman wo uh, style where I just do it line by line. And maybe later I'll create some nice uh, template. Actually elsewhere I have already done something different where I 
um, do a cat EOF for example like this so maybe I should just uh, redo this section but it formats the front matter like we saw and then it opens the file in NeoVim and so uh, here I have set up how the arguments are uh, are done so if um, in bash this is how you refer to the arguments from the command line uh, and here when when it when it sees z in that array then it will um, do this and open a z style of a template and then i also have an article template which it will open then here's the reset command that you saw me using so it will delete the content of the public directory it will enter the blog directory and then it will run, run the yugo and yugo server command to regenerate the website and here is the the pub command where it will um, um, regenerate the website and uh, push that commit to the respective repositories so this script is uh, publicly available it's uh, on my if you want to have a look at it it's in my um, dot files repo uh, over here dot files and scripts here you will find blog so that's uh, that's uh, very quickly how I how I manage my blog from the command line. So hopefully this can be of uh, inspiration to you. Uh, I'm really happy with the choice with Yugo. I think it's a very uh, very good uh, way to host a sort of text based uh, text focused blog. It's very comfortable to work with. Very easy to get going, and of course it's written in Go, so that's always a very big plus. But the the greatest thing about this is that you have everything stored in as local markdown files so whatever happens i first of all it's stored in git so it's always there but whatever happens i always have this uh, content z directory where all of my things are stored as markdown files so it's not all html i don't have to write the html myself but I can use these markdown files and convert them to a different format later if uh, I so desire. So check it out. Hopefully it's uh, been useful and uh, this is how I publish uh, on my blog. So thank you for watching and see you in the next one.